This is BBC News. I'm Martine Croxall. The headlines at eight. The Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, is escorted into a police car after being harassed by protesters. The return of GCSEs and A-level exams this summer for tens of thousands of pupils, with students being graded more generously. This year group have been adversely affected more than any other year group that have gone through two exams so far and they just really need that, that boost of knowing what they really need to focus their, their minds on. A plan to tackle the record backlog of patients on hospital waiting lists in England is put on hold. The Health Secretary denies reports it was blocked by the Treasury. East and West poles apart. Russia and France discuss the crisis in Ukraine, exploring ways of averting a military conflict. A world first in medicine. A spinal implant enables a man whose spinal nerves were completely severed in a motorbike accident is able to stand up and walk again. Gun salutes take place across the UK to mark 70 years for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Welcome to BBC News. Two people have been arrested after a group of protesters clashed with police after officers escorted the Labour leader, Sakir Starmer, to safety. According to a Metropolitan Police statement, the incident took place shortly after five o'clock this afternoon. A group of protesters surrounded Sakir close to New Scotland Yard and he was driven away in a police car. A man and woman were arrested at the scene for assault of an emergency worker after a traffic cone was thrown at a police officer. They remain in custody. Let's get more from our political correspondent, Ioni Wells. And the Prime Minister has recently made a comment about this, Ioni, on social media. 